That's a lot of head banging people. Nod with me, go on, nod. <laughs> Hamburg, Germany, and Saxon's Eagle sets off across the continent to the UK for the first time in decades. We wanted to bring the Eagle in for a festival in the UK, and um, Stila seemed to be the festival to do it on. The Everybody was excited about doing this gig on a mountain in Wales and I thought well yeah it's got to be cool and uh, we're going to have the eagle. We were thinking about queuing the flames on all night tonight so we're warm. Yeah if you don't mind. <laughs> flame behind the wall, <laughs> flame all night. <laughs> Just leave them Milk on. the Olympic torch gone mad. Are you looking forward to it? I think so. I'm not looking backwards to it. That'll be later. I suppose it all first started in a coal mine, you know, way back in the days, really, when I used to sit and play my bass guitar, you know, to myself, jamming. But I was able to sort of sing at the top of my voice when nobody could hear me, you know, because it was like, it was either the, the bellows going full, full bore for the, for the boilers or the, the, the weaving sheds going really crazy. So, you know, I think all the banging and smashing together, quite industrial, you know, so, um, you know, and I did like the heavier, the heavier type of music as well, you know, I was more into the, the sort of guitar-based rock music, really. And then I heard Hendrix and I thought, what is he doing? I can't understand this, it's so good. The first beat of the bar is where a normal guitarist will start his solo. I'll start anywhere but the one. <laughs> so it turns the whole solo back on itself. Actually, when I first joined the band, you know, it was sort of I was a middle-class southern twit, you know, and then and then I had to, because of the accent, I guess it was sort of <laughs> they all used to. I mean, Graham, Biff, and Steve used to sort of act like C-3PO, you know, from Star Wars. Sort of, oh no, 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 that was me, you know. <laughs> Uh, midday radio you could hear Saxon on the radio and that was for me like uh, like a doorway open you know there you are this is this is the kind of music that you should be listening to and, uh, and that was a big influence on me so I would go out and buy that single I 
I saw so many bands at the Dome after that. I mean, it, it was like, that was my drug then, you know, it was an absolute addiction. I'd just go and see anything. And then and now I'm, I'm basically a music lover. So I, I was into Sabbath, Zeppelin, Floyd, progressive rock music. Funnily enough, me and Nigel found we were at the same gigs a lot, even though he's a bit older than me. You know, uh, before we even met, we were like, oh, I was at that gig. You know. They show the man from the boys. They know how to play. We do work hard and um, we do do a full on 100% show. Actually, we push up, push ourselves and our body as far as we can, can really on shows. Sometimes, you know, if we start changing around, say, do you want a slow song or a fast song? And I'm going, oh Christ, not another bloody fast one. Give me a rest, will you, please? <laughs> We only really write things, to be honest, that we like ourselves. You know, so that's our only benchmark. If we get off on it and Biff it fires up it fires Biff, then we'll use it. We want to thank the fans for, for you know, staying with us and new fans for coming along, joining us on the journey and um, you know all the, all the media really got behind us again and um, it, it's great really, you know people really really appreciate uh, the work that we did in the 80s and uh, they still appreciate the work we do now, you know and we're always trying to uh, entertain ourselves, you know, we don't want to be boring. Um, so that's a great, um, it's a great fire for us that, to, to, to always try and better our songwriting. Lighting up the sun.